today we will talk about uh, shelf lives, shelf life of tea. Um, uh, we're starting with one of our uh, most uh, shelved teas, um, almost 20 years old. And uh, there, is, there, is, there is a reason why, why this tea, this type of tea or this specific tea, yeah, it's over here, over here, uh, bon coup. There, is, uh, there are a few reasons why this tea is still, uh, is still being aged and still drinkable. And um, a few things uh, we see from clients is that uh, sometimes people are not sure about uh, which tea can be storaged, which tea can be aged, for mm -hmm. how long. And uh, what, is the, what is the actual uh, uh, expiry date in, in each tea means? And at the end, I think we're going we're gonna to give some, some advice, some mm -hmm. tips of how to, how to order tea. Basically, everybody's ordering tea um, all over the world. All over the world, yeah. uh, people buy tea online, and we're go we're going to talk about a couple of advice. So I th I think the start I think we should start with the three the three things three criteria that determine the shelf life of of each tea. We have uh, different types of tea, mm -hmm. and we are going to talk about more than more than the five families of tea, green, red, poor, wulong, and white. We're going to even go deeper and discuss the subtypes as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Let's drink first. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. Gambe, l'chaim. Uh, at some point, we're going to move to another tea, but yeah. uh, we can definitely get along all day yeah. With, <laughs> yeah. with this tea. But especially now... Um, it's in the morning and pour, especially wool pour, it's a morning tea, so. The first half of the day, we, we will start with, with a raw pour, but it also depends on the season. This is for another podca podcast. Yeah, so let's talk okay. about Okay, three, three, <laughs> three things that determine the shelf life of tea is, first is the type. Uh, we're going to to go type by type mm -hmm. and literally gives you an uh, extension of, of a shelf life mm -hmm. of each tea. The second thing is pecking, mm -hmm. right? Pecking. Some teas, mostly uh, fresh leaves, uh, delicate uh, types of tea that uh, focus around aroma. If you want to keep the aroma for longer, you're going to... You're gonna take care of the of of the package of the tea. Otherwise, the tea will be literally gone. The flavors will be gone. We will get to it. And the third one is uh, the storage storage conditions, which includes shipping. Because when your order is shipped from one place to another, it is stored, and it can it can be very very crucial and damage the tea in some certain circumstances. So let's start with the types, right? Yeah. Different types of tea. Yeah. So what we're drinking now is uh, poor. is poor. We can take the whole family of poor, mm -hmm. uh, raw poor, um, ripe poor, right poor, and also white tea, which is not a poor. Mm -hmm. um, but these three types of tea are um, share something in common. Poor and white tea are uh, advanced teas, and they are under the right storage condition. Can be aged for for few years, for long years. Mm -hmm. It's like wine, it's like... Exactly. Uh, in the Western world, um, people store, uh, store wine, and the longer the better. So ST is the same uh, concept as well. Mm -hmm. certain, certain types of tea. Yeah. So, um, so the tea we're drinking right, right now, it's definitely suitable for mm -hmm. storage. Don't expect uh, green tea to be yeah. uh, drank after 16 years. Because it's not a tea that is meant to be uh, uh, stored with extended extended life uh, shelf lives. Mm -hmm. Green tea is the tea of summer for the Chinese people. They drink it only in the summer. It's mm -hmm. available only in the summer. We are uh, we are uh, uh, we are at the end of August right now, and the supply of good green tea in China is already uh, mostly gone. Um, our green tea is sold out already more than a month ago, and it will be back again next year, which is answering a lot uh, a lot of people's questions that are looking for green tea 
through the year, all year, um, basically because um, uh, they got used to green tea. Green tea is more popular in the West and uh, people sometimes not aware of different types of tea. Mm -hmm. And maybe if they mean uh, to say Wulong, maybe if they mean they like uh, a specific uh, poor uh, type, they sometimes don't know it. They just call it green tea as a general, as a general term. Uh, in their favor, I would say that uh, green ting uh, uh, is another uh, is another is another way to describe. Am I saying it right? Ting uh, yeah. is another way to uh, describe uh, the process of tea. So uh, the term green, not only lu, which is the color, in Chinese, uh, well, we use different terms mm -hmm. to describe the greenness of tea. And sao uh, qing, right? Sao qing. Sao qing or sa qing. Sa qing, sorry. I mean, this is called kill green, right? Yeah, it's called kill green. Kill green. Mm -hmm. Almost every tea, you kill the green, mm -hmm. but not every tea is green tea. So yeah. in the terminology of tea, uh, you also have uh, uh, a constant use of the word uh, green in different terms. Mm -hmm. Would you really say about the uh, green, gr tea. Gr green tea how long? We said it's the tea of summer mm -hmm. and it uh, usually consumed within a few months, like three to six months. Uh, if you're keeping your green tea at home in the freezer or even in the fridge, as less uh, capacity as possible, as less amount of tea leaves as possible, you will extend, uh, you will maximize the shelf lives. If you're going to keep your green tea, it's a general thing because you have a lot of subtypes of green tea. We're not going to, uh, uh, to name all all of them, but in general, green tea should be kept in the fridge or freezer uh, to be extended into even one year. Do not accept, expect green tea to survive more than a year. It might have some taste in the beginning, but it's it's not fresh anymore. It's not fresh anymore. It's yeah. going to lose its character, mm -hmm. uh, to lose its flavors uh, very, very quickly. And we will get later to the point where we will uh, describe how to uh, how to identify an expired tea. Mm -hmm. So moving, Let's talk about moving on to the wulong. Wulong, we have to separate uh, the light wulongs and the dark wulongs. Yeah. All right. Also separate us because I am a, a very uh, Qingxiang uh, like wulong. wulong lover. Qingxiang is um, want to explain. Yeah, light wulong, something that is more light colored, that, something that is more bright. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, basically, a wulong type that doesn't go through the process of uh, okay. baking or roasting. Mm -hmm. Dark wulong... Which is one of my favorites. Which, exactly. Yeah. Uh, also, the next tea we're going to drink, right? Yeah, exactly. So, um, actually, when we talk about the packing, wulong and uh, green tea are the most sensitive types of tea. Mm. You can knock pack any weight you want. And um, there are strict rules in China to pack the tea according to Chinese standard. Mm -hmm. So- Like the suppliers of the tea. They, exactly. Yeah. If we want to maximize the shelf life to our clients, we have to follow the packing rules in China. So uh, we can have uh, some example. Let's. Yeah, yeah, we have here Bai Rui Xiang. Bai Rui Xiang. Mm -hmm. Lovely bag. Um, it's a, I remember we had it uh, last year when we like, were in Less China. than a year ago. Yeah. Less, oh, yeah, less than a year. Less than a year ago, we mm -hmm. had this we had this uh, very very simple mm -hmm. handwriting bag. I personally Yeah, this this tea that is even uh, shorter. What? Like it, it has um, uh, you want to uh, give it a try here? Yeah. Uh, the, the reason we are giving this tea as an example, this is a dark woolen. The, mm -hmm. the reason we are giving uh, this tea as an example, not because we're try we're going to try to drink it. We're not, because it's already expired. And that's the whole idea. By the way, it's unsorted, you see? Yeah. It's unsorted. They it. actually we received it as a gift. Mm -hmm. They gave it... It was uh, uh, off-season. It was off-season, before mm -hmm. packing, and uh, we liked the tea, and they said, yeah, why not uh, mm -hmm. take this bag home? Yeah. Uh, a few months later, the tea already doesn't have any flavors, any taste. It's totally gone. Yeah. These are the stems. Yeah. The stems of the... Yeah. The stems of the tea. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember it's even less than six months, like... 
after six months already, already gone. And the reason is the package. Yeah. Um, this is a very sensitive tea. We want to pack it. Uh, mm -hmm. We we want to pack it individually into portions. As the quantity is lower, is better for the package because mm -hmm. you don't need to reopen it all the time and leave uh, uh, a big amount of air. Uh, mm -hmm. The tea will be oxidized. The tea will yeah just lose all his character and his benefits. And also, um, speaking of oolong, uh, because we have like uh, dark oolong and light oolong, and which are packed in a different way. So uh, the light oolong. Yeah, when we talk right. about dark oolong, as you see, uh, you pack it in the square shape. And when you talk about light oolong, mm. it's packed it packed in vacuum. In the vacuum way. And each uh, small bag is for one portion. Mm -hmm. And it also needs to pack, uh, to, uh, to put it in the fridge or freezer. Mm -hmm. uh, the and shelf life? It's around two and a half years. At least two and a half yeah. years. Actually, because we're very, very picky about the, 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 the Tiaguanin, we have an extra fridge only for Tiaguanin <laughs> with, different, with different years, with different seasons, and we we're, we're testing them all the time. Yeah. We're comparing them all the time. What happens to the same tea one year outside the fridge and inside the fridge? Yeah. It's something that can be discussed. Discussed. Because in Taiwan, they pack the tea a little different. They don't, yeah. they don't tend to pack it individually. They, they pack, pack it, it around 50, 100 yeah, yeah, but also vacuum. And in some cases, they don't recommend to keep it in the, in the in fridge the at all. Well. Yeah. Thing is, uh, Wulong in Taiwan is a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, the cultivars are different. The altitudes are different. The techniques may be a little different, but it's 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 technically Chinese uh, tea. Yeah. So you keep it in vacuum, in the freezer, for the tea not to observe uh, the humidity, the water, and that's how you keep it fresh. Seriously, tea like that cannot be packed. As you like, yeah, it cannot be packed in a mm. in a in a generic uh, uh, plastic or yeah, or paper bag. It, it, it literally cannot. It mm -hmm. will just lose all its benefits and flavors yeah. within few months. But there is a big mm -hmm. difference between why we pick why we pack uh, this tea this way and the dark one we keep uh, th th this way. Exactly. The main reason uh, uh, this bag, by the way, it's an aluminium, very thick. Uh, bag that uh, can keep this tea for three years yeah. at least. Three years at least. This one didn't survive for six months. Mm -hmm. uh, you're welcome to try it here with us. We're, keep, we're keeping it only for the... It was a beautiful tea. Yeah. And actually it was... Uh, act, in a way it was our fault. Like we were we, we were careless and we didn't we didn't repack it yeah, at home. Yeah, we didn't home. pay attention as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, it can happen to you guys as well yeah. as much as it can happen to us mm -hmm. to be careless about our tea and it's just gone now so at least three years this tea can be kept uh, fresh but the square shape yeah. to keep uh, the leaves of the wu the 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 dark the, the dark wulong the rock tea to keep them uh, uh, to keep them uh, as a whole uh, if you're going to pack a uh, rock tea uh, in vacuum it's going to become uh, uh, flakes. It will look like a Japanese tea. It's not going to be uh, yeah, the original so tea anymore. Easy to break. Easy to break. Yeah. And also the tea is going to be more condensed and it's it's just not the product. So as you mentioned, uh, uh, light wulong, uh, I would even say is more, this tea is, m is more fragile than the dark wulong uh, because um, uh, the baking process of uh, of the, of the leaves um, making the tea more immune, making it more immune to uh, weather conditions. Um, Very good. It's brilliant. Red tea is our next is our next tea. Uh, actually, it's the most easygoing yeah. uh, among all Chinese tea in terms of uh, packaging, instead of uh, packaging and storage. Mm -hmm. um, uh, red tea, uh, if it's dried well, uh, sometimes can be stored for many years, but it's not necessarily getting better. Actually, it's quite rare that a red tea 
is get, is getting better. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there are a lot of subtypes and different growing areas of red tea, so it's not like uh, it's not a rule. But uh, uh, red tea is uh, flex- more flexible with its uh, weather con- conditions. Europeans used to ship from China huge quantities of of black tea of red tea to the West, and these journeys took months. Yeah. And we're going to talk about delivery at the end. It's one of the most uh, important thing to take care of before you buy your tea. Because everything we talked about packing right now doesn't worth a dime if you don't care about the shipping, how the tea is delivered to you. If tea is going, every tea, even red tea, is going to spend time uh, sunbathing in the summer. In On boat. Yeah, or yeah. or or the boat, or in a third party uh, uh, storage. For example, um, we are shopping in our favorite uh, online tea shop, and uh, we want to buy a little bit of green tea yeah. and a little bit of red tea and some nice pour cake and maybe some uh, long juice, some dragon balls yeah. of white of white tea. These different teas has different uh, 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 requirements of shipping, not only packing. Exactly. Yeah, if you choose to order only only red tea, then you can be maybe a little, bo- a little more loose about the way you ship things. But uh, this, I think this is the part when we really give the tips of people that want to order, wants to order uh, uh, tea online, especially abroad. If you're buying something that, that is domestic, shouldn't be a problem. But um, uh, but uh, taking under consideration uh, uh, long distance uh, shipping as less handovers as mm-hmm. possible. Yeah. Don't let the tea come from third parties, different shipping companies. Mm. Guys, door to door, a very well sealed package exactly. that deliver everything within a few days. We received samples from China yesterday. Yeah. We didn't try it today, but we promise next time. We also have tea room within two hours. Mm. We're going to try some new samples from China. This box took four days four to days. arrive. Yeah. It cost. All right. It cost. It cost you. It cost us. But if, you, if, you, if you're spending good money on your teas, then just don't forget uh, um, uh, to pay attention to the shipping. Because you can literally ruin everything. Exactly. Uh, so did we talk about all the types of tea? We talked about uh, white and... Poor. Let's make a summary. We talked about poor and white. Yeah, we talked about uh, wulong. We talked about two types of wulong. Green tea. We talked about the green tea, we talk very about briefly. We red tea. And red tea. So basically, we're all covered. We're good. We're covered. Yeah. Uh, how do we recognize a tea that is, uh, maybe we have some tea at home that we bought long, long ago and only now we're watching this podcast. How can we know if this tea is expired or not? I will answer. Okay. I will answer. <laughs> no worries. No worries, Lopes. I will answer. Only taste it. All right. Only taste. All right. Yeah. Before you taste. All right. Watch out. Before you taste. First, you can uh, smell the tea. Uh, okay. There is yeah, a very, right. very unpleasant uh, smell of uh, plato, plastilina, <laughs> like the like like the kids uh, the the kids game. It's very, very strong. Sometimes smells like 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 candies. Uh, when you smell this uh, in a tea package, move on. Second thing is take this guide. Uh, we were also going to attach it to this podcast um, uh, in words where it would be more organized of how many months, how, how many years each type of tea and what is requirements. If you have green tea you stored in your kitchen for more than a year, it's already passed away. All right. Yeah. If you are uh, if you do have uh, tea in the freezer, in the fridge. Uh, which is not light wulong on green tea. Maybe it's also past its time because it's not suitable for uh, uh, storage in the fridge. And also, I want to add something. Like when you store uh, your your tea in a certain place, make sure that uh, there are uh, no 
any s- strong uh, smell. Ah, uh, no spices. other smell. Perfect note. Yeah. Oh. To put it together because uh, I remember uh, we met uh, one client and he bought uh, his uh, uh, light wulong to us with a uh, you know paper bag, and uh, before I drank it, it smelled like spices. So spices, I, yeah. I immediately understand that. Uh, and he admitted. He admitted. <laughs> he put it next, next to, to spices. spices. So that's yeah. why it's a big no-no yeah. uh, to to put uh, tea next to something, you know, especially Something food, else that I has think. odor, yeah. perfumes, spices. Exactly. Uh, even different types of tea. People that are really serious about their tea stock. They uh, separate the types of tea. We're definitely doing it in exactly. our storage. Mm-hmm. Why tea? Even though it is has storage requirement, same mm-hmm. as poor, doesn't mean we put them together. It's very important to understand yeah. that. I don't know any, any single type of package in the world that fits all five families of tea. So mm-hmm. uh, this is also something you need to, uh, 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 you need to be aware of. Mm-hmm. Each type of tea has its own package because of storage, because of, uh, because of shipping, and of course, because of mm-hmm. the different shelf life if we want to maximize it. Um, and, and also, like in a in our point of view, of course, like clients that want to try a lot of uh, different varieties of tea, and yeah. we choose to um, choose our collections uh, of our tea because only this way we can allow us to pack in the in a way that fits Chinese standard, and it can uh, keep the freshness and let our clients to enjoy the tea instead of just offering a lot of varieties of tea um there is like an industry standard of packing uh different different types of tea in the same in the st- in the same generic bags like the bags can be very very beautifully branded and uh and it can be also uh um economic like the 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 cheaper and easier way to go uh since we said like Uh, some people choose to have a larger variety of tea. Just make sure it doesn't it doesn't cover for uh, for the quality because different different types of tea do needs to be handled differently. And uh, sometimes it's it's just not the right way to go um, since you minimize uh, instead of maximizing the shelf life of each tea. Let's go back for a second to talk about, Uh, tea that is uh, expired already if you have it at, at home or even tea that you're sorry but maybe you order tea before uh, COVID-19 or during and the delivery took uh, a little bit longer than it should have we know a lot of clients that have been going through this and uh, they are expecting their tea for a few months now but uh, you don't know what were the condition of the shipping and you don't know where your box your order was placed during that time there is uh, sorry to say that there's a good chance the tea is totally damaged again mm-hmm. depends on the shipping depends on the packaging depends on the on the storage and, also and the varies the, the temperature yeah. uh um so uh how do we recognize it we said uh we have a play-doh Uh, Plato smell. Another thing is to not always uh, 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 take for granted the uh, stamp of the of uh, of the validation date, the expiry date on each tea can be uh, uh, subject by the country where it is imported. to. I will explain as the, as again as the importer of these tea. Yeah. I have certain rules here in Israel uh, how to. Um, How to declare the expiry date of each tea and some teas here are not recognized uh, by by the local by the local uh, health ministry and every country has different rules so we have to follow local regulations and declare uh, for example we have to declare uh, an expiry date for poor yeah. even though it doesn't have one uh, so maybe and, and also uh, poor it's Uh, for example, in Israel, poor is not even recognized 
as a type of tea. Exactly. They call it black tea. They call it black tea. Yeah. And uh, when I started to investigate about raw poor, they say, all right, maybe it's green tea. So it's very, very common. And uh, yeah. not everybody is dealing with export import regulation and sending their teas to the labs. But uh, this is something that is very, very important. Uh, not necessarily what says on the on the on the back of your package is uh, is correct. Again, trust the supplier you're buying the tea from. Uh, usually in their website, there will not be in their website, uh, social media, or even uh, the directly. Uh, give a call to your supplier and and investigate and talk about it. Uh, advise me how to keep this tea, how to store it. What is the val uh, uh, validity date, expiry date? And, and the third way uh, to identify uh, an expired tea is to taste it. And then you see that after the first, second or third brew, the taste start to fade, fade, fade out. And the tea that you were supposed to brew for at least one, one or 1.5 liters of liquid in total turns out to, to be completely gone after 500 or 600 mil. This is not the tea that you paid for. This is not the tea that you uh, stored and kept and waiting for to enjoy. And uh, that's the easiest way to identify an expiry, expired tea. The taste is gone. The benefit is gone. And uh, there's also something that I see. Uh, it's uh, the use of uh, um, long distance shipping, literally with a ship. Yeah. Now, seriously, that's a big no-no in the tea industry. Yeah. And it's quite well known, but it's... Uh, I still see that people are doing it. You do not yeah. ship tea by the sea. You just don't do that. As less handovers as possible and the quickest shipping by air, uh, no third parties involved, no third parties storage. You don't, you simply don't buy tea from third parties website that, sto that store the tea uh, in their conditions, next to items that are not tea, next to items that might have odor, might have different smells. Maybe your tea is being stored ne next to uh, Chanel perfume. Uh, I mean, it's not going to give good results. So uh, buy tea from tea suppliers, buy tea from people that knows how to pack, how to store their tea, mm -hmm. that gives you uh, a, a, re a reliable information and instructions about how to how to how to store the tea in your in your home and of course uh, 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 give you the possibility to ship as fast as possible pay this money seriously mm -hmm. if it's going out of your pocket pay it door to door express shipping and I'm sure that uh, um, if you're watching this video you're also a tea lovers and you will also feel the same weight when the package arrives here and you can't wait to open it and try it just like okay. this. It's also maybe the Corona time, the yeah. COVID-19 time, people receive their orders after a long, long waiting uh, period of time. Yeah. Maybe it's a good uh, opportunity uh, to try out uh, some advices we talked about today. Mm -hmm. Try the tea open it up smell it taste it mm -hmm. uh compare it to other packages other brands other teas that you have mm -hmm. and investigate more because uh people spending their good money on their tea and they want to enjoy it but not necessarily aware of uh, of the different of of of, of the different uh, uh requirements and circumstances and uh, and that's about it hope uh, hope we help Thank you so much. Right. We'll Thanks see for you. watching and listening. Yeah, and we we hope that we see you guys uh, soon with the next topic. Next topic. Yeah. Thanks for the kilos.